Hey y'all, so I'm getting food. I know, I need to stop eating out to be honest with you because it's just way too much. Um, but I don't feel like cooking. I feel like I'm gonna start cooking properly in the new year. I just, I have not been in the mood for cooking. I don't know this place, but I wanna get pizza from Blaze Pizza right there. Nah, that was just like chicken over rice. Um, Asian style. I want some pizza. Actually, it's not even that I want pizza. I want garlic bread. I want some chicken too. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, y'all, I was gonna decide against it as you can see Mr. Obama back there. Obama, I'm gonna put the window down, but we're gonna go get a bath. He hates a bath, y'all. I'm so out of breath. Cause I ran upstairs and I ran back down. Um, and double park so I can get him. The place is like a five minute drive from my house. I'm gonna go give him a bath. Just because I normally bathe him inside of my tub, um, especially he's 12 pounds, it's really easy. He hates baths no matter how you do it. But I feel like this is just easier. I don't have to worry about the towels, drying them off. They have like a huge dryer thing. So I feel like just pay for the convenience of using their washer, their dryer and all that stuff instead of, instead of um, having to... Sorry, this guy right here. He was just like standing here. Some guy always saying hi. But anyways, um, it would just be easier. Uh, and then that's it. That's it, y'all. I don't feel like running off nowhere else. Because I got to go to work in the morning. So this is going to be it. I'm going to take y'all to go bathe the bomber with me. And then that's all that's okay, it. Okay, y'all. So I'm here. It's called Tail Waggers. And then they have Tail Washers right next door. Believe it or not, Obama and I had ran into Angelina Jolie because she lives close in my area. And we ran into her in a Starbucks, maybe towards the beginning of the pandemic. And in the beginning, of course, Obama, Mr. Greeter, Mr. Greeter pants, you know, went up to her and I saw her, but I don't really be pressed about the celebrities because like, you know, I just want them to live their life and like do their own thing. But Obama went up to her and her son at the time and I was just like briefly, just like, oh yeah, I gotta take him to go get a haircut. Cause I think she was like, oh, I like his, like his, his hair or whatever, something like that. Um, wait, Obama, wait. Child, y'all look at this damn dog. Look at him. Obama, don't be in a rush. Cause you're going to get a bath. Something that you hate any dad going away. But um, yeah, so she's like, oh, you should try this place called Tail Waggers. Um, I normally send my dogs there. I'm sure she doesn't bring the dogs there. I'm sure like somebody she knows bring the dogs there. But anyway, she was like, I normally bring my dogs there and they do really good with my babies. They give treats and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So when I was looking for a self-cleaning place, this was one of them that popped up. And I was like, you know what? We about to just try this out. Um, but she did say like, sometimes it could be a little bit more pricier. And she was honest about that. I mean, it's not drastic if you're doing it yourself. It's like 20 bucks compared to, um, no, Obama, you're not going to Fresh Brothers trying to get some damn food. Look at him. Um, yeah, so anyways, usually, you know, it costs a little more. Y'all, look at him. He's so fucking excited, he don't even know that his ass is really about to get a goddamn bag. Little do he know. Little do he know. Okay, so anyways, that's that. That's how I found about this. And so I'm about to take a minute. Look at you, acting crazy. Little do you know, you're about to get a bath. You're not getting no treat. Come on here. Come on here. Y'all, he be cutting up. You gotta get your little doggy nephew. Yeah. This is doing You are excited for now. Don't try to come up here now. This <laughs> Right nice and clean. You nice and clean, clean, buddy. Okay. Right. Come on, kid. Go right behind me. Look, you excited, but you're not about to be excited in a minute. Obama, give him a chance. <laughs> Sit. No. Obama, no. You're getting a bath. Get in here. <laughs> oh my God. Every time. <laughs> Come on, quickly. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> this is why I always 
make the groomers do it. Well, I do it at home and he does the same thing. So I was like, let's go to a bigger one so he doesn't jump out. Ridiculous. You're so dramatic. And all the groomers always say, oh, he did well. Uh -huh, yeah. For me. Look, look, look. You scared? Sit down. Sit, sit, sit. Man, at home, you know, your tub is lower, so he like, he like taking a leap for it. Sit down. You so scared of this tub, like, it never did anything to you. You'll be all right. Uh-huh, bad. So, your doggy nephew is shaking like a limb on a tree. <laughs> all right. Okay. Look at, look at him you're acting crazy. He got a whole attitude. He'll be all right. Don't be looking at me like that. <laughs> Y'all, it's a decent. Okay. 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 Y'all little nephew then jumped out and booked it. Mama, you look like a little naked mole rat. Why are you being so worried? Now I gotta blow dry you. Just calm down, calm down. Y'all, <laughs> look at him. About my stay, he won't let me fully dry him because he acts and petrified. So I'm gonna let him dry a little bit more at home. I'm about to clean his ear with the air. We're gonna do your hair, Demily. Your nephew was acting like he was dying, but I'm next door at the little uh, place. Sit, ah, sit down. You want this? Ah, I said sit down. Stay there. He's so focused on the doggies. Come over here. Oh, you always want to say hi. Focus. Come. Sit. Hey. Sit. Stay. Stay. He wants this. Yay! It's in the plastic. Gotta wait. Ha! Y'all, as you could tell, your nephew was cutting up a little bit at that freaking dog wash. It's so crazy because if you watched a few vlogs before, you know that Obama hates baths. However, he don't be giving me that much riffraff when we using my own tub. So we just gonna stick to using my own tub. Cause that boy done flipped out of the tub at the place, kept crawling up my shoulder, doing all kinds of stuff, acting real ridiculous. It's kind of like when you take your kids out, right? And you know how you already tell them, don't get out there acting crazy, but they wanna try to get out there and show out. That's exactly what he was doing. He was really cutting up in there, like jumping out the tub, running, like some movie type stuff. Like, come on, dude. So anyways, he's clean, he's good. I'll have to bathe him again for a little bit, so he'll be all right. But he gonna have his little black ass bathed here. But let me tell you something. He was acting out over there, and I don't even know why. But as y'all can see, I got my little bonnet on. I'm about to take it down for the night. About to change my sheets on my bed, prepare some lunch for tomorrow for work. And, and then I'm gonna go take a shower and wind it down. So I just got in the house. I'm so excited. I got to speak to my girls from college, my sisters, my best friends from college. Um, was speaking to them for like almost two hours. It was so amazing to catch up with them. I urge y'all, if you don't get to catch up with your family and your friends, especially during this pandemic going on exactly two years soon, like, Speak to your loved ones because it's very crucial. So anyways, onwards, I'm about to walk Obama. 
They're actually waiting for me. But I'm excited because when I got home, your girl had a package. Had a package. Had a package. Y'all know what this is? The license plate tags. So I'm excited, but needless to say, I hope it ain't no dumb number. Doesn't matter because I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm actually getting custom license plates because I like the black. Here in California, if you get a custom license plate, it's black. And then you can get like yellow writing on it. So I'm going to get that because I want to be fancy. I want to be fancy, honey. So I got that. I'm not going to show y'all the number because this is like the real life number, okay? This is not the make pretend one that y'all saw on fakey fakey. Uh, I guess this number ain't that bad. Mm, I don't like this number. Anyway, <laughs> I guess the number ain't that bad. But needless to say, I'm going to just cover it up for security purposes. Some people is crazy. I don't know. People do crazy things. But this is the California, your California resident. So let me stop. I am though. But um, this is the new license plate. And it came with two. Because in the state of California, y'all, you have to have two. Ain't no way of getting around two. Y'all, this is kind of flimsy though. No wonder why when I first got it, it was kind of bent. But anyways, it's kind of, it's definitely flimsy, but it was kind of bent a little bit when it first came. But I'm so excited, so freaking excited. I got this valid registration card with, I guess, the stickers or whatever the case may be. Yeah, the stickers to put on. Anyway, so I'm excited about that. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. I'm actually going to make, you know what? I'm going to share that with y'all. I'm going to make, a, um... What you call? It? I'm gonna make a, a ugly Christmas sweater. I have a red sweater, so I'm gonna show y'all what it ended up looking like. Tomorrow is a holiday video for the clients. I guess that we'll send out to our clients or whatever the case may be. So we're gonna do that tomorrow at work, and then next week we have our um holiday party. Um, so we decided for the holiday video that we're gonna do a um. Kind of like ugly, cute Christmas sweater theme situation. So I get real creative, y'all. I am a creator, so that's by nature. But um, I have a red sweater that I've always had. And I'm, I went to the dollar store yesterday and I got like things that you would hang on like a Christmas tree or um, things that you would hang around the house or decorations. We're about to go out about my plan. Want to say hi to the people? Come here. Come here, little thing of book. Say hi. Y'all look at y'all little doggy nephew. He ready. He ready to go outside. He's sick of my crap. You sick of my crap? Sick of my crap, boy? You sick of my crap? Yeah, he ready to go outside. Look how he pulled his paw away. Look. He don't like his paws to be touched. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna show y'all how that comes out. I'm pretty excited about that. Um all a dollar. Y'all ain't got to spend crazy money if you want to make an ugly sweater. You can do whatever and it'll be cute. And I'm going to tell y'all while I'm making this sweater how I almost had to curse a lady out because she took the last something that I wanted. But that's, I'm going to tell y'all in a bit. So anyways, I'm going to go walk Mr. Rugrat because these coyotes is out heavy, y'all. Heavy, heavy. So I'm going to try to walk him. It's already dark. And then I'll come back and I'm going to start the sweater because I have to have it ready for tomorrow. So we'll be back. So I'm sorry that it's a little dark, but this is like a bow tie that I got from the 99 cent store. So I'm gonna put that on my neck. Then I just got these little elf ornaments as I told y'all, but I figured since it has a little string to just like, I don't know, attach them to like the bottom of my sweater or I don't know, somewhere on the sweater, like the sleeves or something like that. And then I got these little felt bags. I felt like, I thought what was interesting is that you can like stuff the little bags with, I don't know, just like paper to make it thicker. And then I was going to write like bag of coal or something like that or like a goodie or, you know, something because like, you know, you get a bag of coal from being like naughty or whatever the case may be. 
um, just stuff that with like something just to like pin them on to my um, to my uh, sweater and then I got these which are little hair clips and it has those little pieces so I'm gonna make I'm gonna do two ponytails tomorrow and then that's really it nothing too crazy I, I had another plan in mind but uh I gotta tell y'all a story about why they didn't work out y'all okay, so little story time but in the meantime let me show you the sweater so I got this sweater from H&M y'all honestly I've had this sweater now at least like six years or something. I don't know. Like I don't clothes shop often, so don't be coming for me. But <laughs> I just keep things. And then if I don't fit it no more, then you know I can replace it. But if I can still fit it, then it is what it is. So um, clearly I had it for a while because I need to shave it down. It got a little bit of lint things. But see, it's just like a red little sweater, like fitted at the bottom, the little arms. And this is what it's gonna be. And then I'm just gonna put. So, like I said, I'm going to wear the bow tie, which is going to be super cute. Put that around my neck, like that. And then I'm going to put the little hair clips in, so that'll be cute. And I'm just going to stuff these little bags with, um, let me grab a scissor real quick. So, anyway, I'm just going to stuff these bags. Uh, and maybe write on it. Like I said, like, bag of cola. I don't, I don't know. Something funny or cute. Anyways, on to the story, y'all. So, I was in the Dag 199 cent store. And there was, like, an older lady and some young girl in front of me. And they're looking at, like, um, all the Christmas stuff. And what I had my eye on was the... Um, the 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 name tags that you put for people's gifts you know how like you write people's name on the gifts on like little tags i had saw some like there was green and red ones but there was a black and white collection like checkerboard black and white with red on it i thought oh that'll be super cute super dope and i thought about taking the name tags because it came with a little like ribbon and i was just gonna put them on me kind of like i'm the gift right like something like that so how about she took the last black and white one? I was hot. Because it's like, first of all, you jump in front of me. And don't say excuse me. And let me tell y'all, people be good for not saying excuse me or trying to play like they don't speak English and you be sitting here looking like, I know you speak motherfucking English. Like, you don't, don't play me stupid. Like, or you know at least excuse me. Like, you be kind of annoyed when people just act so ignorant. Anyway. And then by the time I looked, she snatched the last one, y'all, and went on her merry way and left. I said, you got to be shitting me, right? So I was like, okay, you got to come up with another plan. So basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to take these. Okay, so let me just show y'all briefly. This is like the little bag. And basically, these are called little felt bags. So you just put like little small gifts, right? Like give people little gifts, little, um, probably like a gift card or... I don't know, something small you put in there. So I was thinking, you can take these, these are clean napkins, y'all, it's clean napkins. But you can like take a little napkin and or just like recycle paper or something and just kind of like stuff it and then just, I don't know, I can, whatever you want, right? Like, can do this and then you could just like, I don't know, tie it or something. And then just like put it on the sweater, kind of like a, a little, just like three dimensional, I don't know, something like that. That's what I was thinking. Something simple, something cute, whatever. Or, I mean, you don't even gotta tie it. You can pull back the strings and just make it look like they're just open ended pockets, right? And just have like pockets on your shirt so little pockets and drop little stuff in there you know whatever whatever's clever it's just a one day thing it ain't nothing to be hooting and hollering about so that's what i'm gonna do i'll show y'all photos of what it ended up looking like tomorrow when i actually have it on and then i'll try to show y'all after i actually 
pin it. So let me go on ahead and get this started. Hey y'all, so I actually had it have it hanging on something so that way I can actually pin it on. But that will go around my neck. But you know, this is a little dollar store cheapy cheapy. So I'ma bring some safety pins with me in case I need to just safety pin it to my shirt. But I put it around my neck once. But in case, I don't know, it decided want to pop or something. That's that. I decided to take the little bags. And I didn't pin the whole thing down because I didn't want to see the safety pin through the front. So it's just kind of open a little bit. I did stuff some little tissues in this one. And yes, it's above my stove. It's basically just hanging here. I just needed somewhere to kind of like balance it and pin stuff. So anyways, I have it here. Um, and I only had four bags, so I put one, one, and then one in the corner there, one in the corner there. Um, and then that's the tie. And then I have the little elves hanging on the shoulder blade. So that's like where my shoulder will be. And then that way it's just dangling down the arm. And I don't have to worry about it being like in my way while I'm at work. And then I put one on the other side. So basically... That's the overview of the sweater. Um, so I just wanted to hang it up there so y'all can kind of see it. Yeah, I mean, I'm in my kitchen because it has the better, like, lighting situation in here. And I just needed to hang it. So don't be judging me. Judge your mama, okay? And then I'm going to put the little stuff in my uh, hair. So that's all that's it, y'all. That's all that's it. Um, <laughs> ain't nothing else to it. I want to stuff this so it does look kind of like three-dimensional when I have it on my body. Um, but I don't want to waste a whole lot of tissue. I don't know. I'm still debating. Yeah, so I'm still debating like if I want to stuff it or not. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to leave it like that, that one stuffed. And then when I get dressed in the morning, I'll just decide if I want to put something else in there. It would have been cool. I just now thought about it. And I don't want to be wasteful, but it would have been cool if I had... um some black spray paint and if I had the cotton balls and I spray painted them black and then that literally would have looked like a bag of coal but I'm it's it's not that deep guys this is supposed to be for a cute little picture or video tomorrow so that's all I said that's real simple um but yeah that's basically what it's gonna look like um and I'll just show y'all a photo or video or whatever tomorrow once I have it on. I'm excited to see what my coworkers have. I'm sure they're going to have a more simple sweater. But you know, Bessie, I'm a little extra. So I got to do a little extra, extra. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I'm about to go to bed. I know y'all probably hear these helicopters behind me. Hollywood area has been shut down today. I don't, I, I don't know what's going on. I tried to Google it. I couldn't even figure it out. But this is a Hollywood area, so of course you're going to hear all kinds of helicopters and there's always movie premieres and movies being shot and all kinds of stuff. So that's probably what it is. The traffic was hella hectic coming from work um, tonight. So anyways, that's all that's it, y'all. That's all that's it. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show y'all tomorrow what it look like. Oh, okay. Good morning, you all. So I said I was gonna come back and show you my outfit. So look at my hair. I got my two ponytails and my little clip hats. I got my little bow tie on. These are the little sashes and I stuffed them with socks so that way they look nice and full like they're like little presents. Um, let me show you what it's looking like on the Z bottom. So here is the bottom of the sweater. I just put two more down there, tie, and I got my little elves on the side. I actually think that it came out cuter than I thought it would because I thought, okay, I'm gonna look incomplete. I'm gonna look stupid. This is not gonna be like a complete look. I think, <laughs> that I literally look like Santa's helper. I'm basically an elf, and here's my two little elf buddies helping me out to deliver the presents with my cute little hair and my tie, because I'm the boss 
of Santa's helpers. No, I'm saying I'm the boss of Santa's helpers. So this is cute, and I'm just wearing like a little tink, a little like white tank top underneath the sweater. And I'm just gonna wear like some jeans or whatever. That's basically the look. Nothing too crazy, but wanted to come and show y'all. Ta-da! Good morning guys. Happy Saturday. I know the last time I was here a couple days ago when I went to my office and we shot our holiday video. Hold on, taking my morning uh, vitamins. <coughs> Gotta do that fast. <coughs> Because one of them tastes absolutely nasty. But it's good for you. So anyway, that's the last time that I came to y'all. Um, showed y'all my outfit. Showed y'all what it looked like. And yeah, I think today is going to be pretty, um, <clears throat> how do I say, busy a little bit. Not super busy, but busy enough. So I'll take y'all along for that. Um... What am I doing today? So today, I was thinking about taking Obama on that, but I feel like I'm going to be gone for like a good amount of time. And he likes to at least look out the window. Excuse me. So I feel like it will be worth taking him. But anyways, today I'm going to be going to the west side. Um, I'm going to see a friend I haven't seen for some years. He's in town, so go check him out. I'm gonna go fill up my gas tank for Costco. There's a Costco over that way, so I'm going to do that. Um, Y'all, I've determined that Costco's gas runs the best out of the gas that I've tried. So I've tried Shell. When I put like a little bit that time and there was an issue, I didn't love that. Then I put Costco and loved it. Now I've run out of the Costco gas and that was honestly a month and some change ago. Um, and then this week, I couldn't get to Costco quick enough, so I did add like 20 bucks of Chevron, which people swear by out here in LA. And it actually has been pretty good. But I think the thing is, is that my car is so smart that anytime it gets to like a little bit below a quarter tank or a quarter tank, I feel like it doesn't perform as smoothly and quickly as it would if it was fuller. Now I know some of y'all may think, oh, well Bessie, you should check on that. I don't necessarily feel like it's anything wrong with the car. I feel like it just knows, right? Um, it, it has a turbo engine and all that stuff. So of course it's it's built to be powerful. Um, so I know when I'm getting low, I can feel the difference. So I'm gonna go to Costco. I'm gonna get some Philip over there. I'm going to find a Walmart that's closer to that way because the Costco I normally go to, there's a Walmart near them, but it's complete opposite directions. Um, and since I'm being in that area, I'm going to go to this African, I believe it's African, you know, I need to check on that. I believe it's African derived store or I don't want to, it could be Indian derived store. I think it's African, not 100% certain, but, um, I go there for my body oils. I only, you know, oil myself in oils because it's more nourishing for the skin in my opinion than any cream any anything and it just goes on easier right so I'm gonna go there I'll take y'all there um I was thinking about stopping at my favorite restaurant called Doolin's which is a southern um cuisine out here uh restaurant that's pretty popular and it's pretty damn good and I haven't had it in over a year so I don't know depending on how I feel I may stop there or not I don't know, I may or may not be hungry, so I don't really want to be gluttony and just getting stuff just to get it. But it's right near the um, store, store where I get my oils. And that's it. So Walmart, Costco, see this friend, the um, store with the oils, possibly Doolin's. Um, and then that's it. And then I'm going to come home. So, y'all come along with me. I think I am going to take Obama just because I know he likes to enjoy the ride, so... Let's go. about to go into the Taj Mahal um, Imports store. I'm parking here on the side street off of Slauson and Crenshaw. I'm on the side because there's never any parking in the freaking front of the store. Obama, please shut it. 
Y'all, he be whining, and he's been whining all day. It's been driving me goddamn crazy. Anyways, I'm I'm parking on the side because there's never parking in front of the store, and there is a Dollar Tree, but I don't even feel like just parking in there at garage or a parking spot, so I'm about to run in there. And it's a little bit further, so I'm going to have to take you-know-who in his bag just because it's, a, it's getting a little warm, and I'm obviously not going to keep him in the car. Do y'all see the belly aching I'm dealing with? He will not shut it today. He's just driving me freaking insane. I'm telling y'all, having a dog is literally like having a kid. I planned on doing these errands today by myself, and I changed my mind. I don't know why I changed my mind. I changed my mind, tried to give him a ride, and now I'm just regretting it because I still got somewhere else to go. Y'all hear him? I know y'all hear the whimpering. It's ridiculous. Okay, I don't know. My camera has stopped recording. So anyways, I'm here on Crenshaw. I'm about to go into the store. Hey, um, but no, like I was saying, um, I'll try to record what I can as far as, um, like little stuff they got in there. Super cute. If y'all don't know about it, it's called Taj Mahal on Crenshaw. So it's in Crenshaw. Um, and y'all ain't gotta be afraid. I feel like most people are so freaking afraid to come to Crenshaw. It's not the end all be all. I lived in Englewood for some time and was always going through Crenshaw daily. So not as bad as people think it is. But anyways, I'm going in there now. So let me put my mask on. Woohoo! here as y'all can see it's like very warehouse like so I just gotta grab what I can grab and that's all that's it but yeah it's a very warehouse oils. I love their oils y'all their oils is bomb like bomb bomb it's like burning oils body oils these ones is body oils as you can see so they got some bomb bomb oil. I got an oil a year ago and it's nowhere near that done. So I might pick up two more oils today. I have to smell them and see. I just found Pina Culata, which is tropical. I like fruity smells. I haven't found another one up here that I like. I'm gonna keep smelling, but it's hard because I'm only bought one here. So I don't know. I gotta figure out which one I want. Yeah. They still so hilarious and it's so you have having me talk up in here. <laughs> he says, go ahead, let me put that in the bag for you. That's too funny. I really love the bottles. I use these ones for my body. Those are pure essential, but these are the ones I use for my body right after the shower. Right in the shower, y'all. show y'all i'll show y'all what i got um they was out of a lot of stuff i was like damn a lot of people came in for the eczema cream because my eczema is coming back to acting a plum fool okay y'all is acting a plum fool so they was like we had an eczema cream i still have a little bit but very little and i want to get a bigger jar because i got the smallest jar the first time that i tried it which is the one that i have and I was just like, honestly, this is way too small. Um, and this stuff is good. But again, I didn't know what it was like. So obviously I didn't get it because I wasn't certain. But now I know it's good. So I want to get the big one. I don't know what this, I don't know what he's doing. But anyways, yeah. So I got some stuff I'll show y'all when I get back home. I'm about to find the nearest Walmart so I can go to Walmart. Um, I don't know where the nearest one is, but I'm going to have to find it. But, yeah, that's Taj Mahal right here on Crenshaw. Crenshaw in, what is this, 57th? I think this is 57th. Yeah. Crenshaw in 57th. So, if you're in L.A., try it out. Yeah, so, I'm at the Walmart in Compton. I got a little guy with me. 
because I ain't gonna leave in the car for that long. Um, yeah, so I'm going inside of Walmart and Compton. Hello. Okay. Where no, it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> she wanted to say how did it out. Um, yeah, so apparently I'm just all up in the hood today, okay? We was in Crenshaw early, well, just to go to the oil place. Um, and now I'm in Compton. So, um, we're just gonna go to Walmart and get what I can get. But let me tell y'all, so this one was 30 minutes away from where I was in Crenshaw, but the one near my house was 50 minutes. And I was like, I don't really wanna go to that one because hopefully this won't be as bad going home. I don't know, but let me just tell you, I'm really discovering, you can obviously get anywhere in LA, but things are really like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 50 minutes, something of that nature. So anyway, doesn't matter. I'll show y'all some of the stuff that I end up getting. It's a little hectic out here. Oh, this Walmart had no parts. Um, it's a little hectic in here. I'm gonna have a look in the food section after because I ain't got no grocery, y'all. I haven't been grocery shopping and I don't even know how long. And I have not been interested in buying no grocery. Well, fucking. But I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow, actually. Because I like to do it separately from like, I don't know, like if you're doing food or clothes, I mean clothes or house stuff or anything like that. So I got my little notebook, y'all. I'm old school. Because when you got your phone and you be trying to go through your phone list, trying to figure out what the hell you trying to get, it's just way too much. So I just scribble, scraggle it down. And then, you know, I get a lot of what's on my list, list and a little bit of something that's not on my list. Y'all, when I tell y'all I'm obsessed with these tank tops, they're so perfect underneath like a blazer or like a blouse that might be a little see-through. I got this and this one. I'm about to also get a gray one but i'm telling you they come i have like a couple of black and white ones but i might get like a red one and a gray one because they're clutch i think i spoke too soon as said I, as soon as i said i was gonna get a gray one they don't got one of my um size but i'm gonna get some other ones because i'm telling you those kind of things be coming in handy Oh my god, the lady in the next aisle was talking to her dude and she's like Oh my god, she was like you better put that back for your fat bitch cause I can see my pussy, she can't It's like chat But look how they put the feminine spray y'all inside a container So I told the lady I wanted one She's like yeah, I'll put them all in the container and then I can give it to you and then they'll open it at the Y'all oh, got paper towels, a cardigan, the tank top. I got some like all natural um, soap wash, which is pretty cool. Ivory's came out there and it smells really good. I like to use all natural things when I can. I'm gonna try this butter, honey butter. I got an all natural uh, dish soap as well. I got something for my car that I'm gonna try out. And I got a bunch of other little crap. I'll show y'all later. Y'all, y'all, I am all done. Mr. Obama's right there waiting for his treat. Treat, treat, treat. <laughs> um, I'm about to give him a treat. Um, I got him some Sizzler bacon uh, treats. Let's see if I can put y'all right here real quick while I try to open this up for him. Um, let me tell y'all. I was trying to tell y'all that there was a girl in there. I guess she was with her baby daddy. Yeah, these are more natural than the bacon strips. They're more, you know, I'm going to get them right too. Here, Bama. Here, Bama. He was a really good boy. Everybody kept saying, oh my God, I thought you was carrying a stuffed animal around. I'm like, don't I look a little too grown to be carrying a stuffed animal around? Um, <laughs> and I got, um, I love white chocolate and everything. So I'm going to try this white chocolate Snickers bar. I'm so hungry. Um, so anyways, there was a lady in there talking about some to her baby daddy that I was trying to get y'all to listen to. She's like, 
I don't need that kind of ish. I need other stuff. I clean my pee. Um, I ain't like that F, that fat B that you talk to. She may not know how to see or clean her pee, but I know how to clean mine. I guess some associate was asking like if they need help or whatever. And she's just like, I don't need no help. This is my baby daddy. I got, we got a 13 year old together. So we've been around each other for a long time, but I don't need nothing from him. See, this is why you don't bring no N-I-G-G, you know, with you to shop because they want to be all up in your business about what you getting and stuff. And I was just like, okay. And she didn't really have that accent, but it was like kind of ghetto, but it was like that hood Los Angeles accent. You know what I mean? Like if you from the hood, like Compton, Crenshaw, Englewood, like stuff like that, she sounds like a Los Angeles breed right and um just mad hood and I was just like oh wow okay so <laughs> I just went to the next aisle but yeah so I'm in Compton like I said I'm about to try to find food because I do still need to grocery shop as I told y'all I have not been um grocery shopping really and I have not been meal prepping oh shoot I gotta get some food for Obama too I don't know, y'all. It's just a whole freaking mess. I, I didn't even think of... No, Walmart didn't have cold food. So I wouldn't have been able to get anything in there for him. Um, I'll probably get something on the way home. But let me tell y'all something. I was just like, this is just a, a long day already. And I'm ready to go home. And it's not even late, y'all. It looked like it's dark out. And it's honestly like... Probably only... When I got here, it was like only almost three. So it gotta only be like... I don't even know, like just about five o'clock and you know, the sun's already setting. This look bomb, y'all. Ooh, I'm about to tear this up. Mm, mm, I look just like a regular sicker. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I want some bomb bomb food, so I'm gonna have to find something. And I'm going home, I'm going home. That's all I sip. And it don't taste like a normal snicker. It tastes more peanut buttery. I'm not a big peanut butter person. But I feel like the regular chocolate brings out the chocolate in it more. And you can taste more of the caramel and the nugget. And, and, mm, that's good. That's hard though. I'll hit y'all up when I get home. I was trying to get cash out and there's a motherfucking accident right there. A motherfucking accident right there. Y'all see, y'all see that? I'm sitting here trying to get cash out and all I hear is a big ass bang while I'm getting food from the Jamaican stock. Oh my god, that was so scary. And they were so freaking close. Y'all, y'all can't even see me. Hold on. Damn y'all. They were so close behind me. They're literally like right behind me. Oh my god. That just scared the holy crap out of me. All I heard was a big ass bang, and it's literally like two cars behind me. It was, a, it was a huge T-bone. Green light and somebody must have been trying to whatever go. Oh my God, I gotta go get cash for my food. They don't take card. Jesus, Jesus protect me. Hey y'all, so I'm home. I basically just got basic stuff at Walmart. I had already showed y'all like earlier on. I got some stuff, like I'm gonna try this for the car because this is just what is called for like a small room, but I feel like I can fill the car because it's just a little small portable um, fragrance diffuser situation. So I'm gonna try this for the car, it's cordless. Um, you just operate off of batteries. So I got that. I got some more filters for my Breda that I'm gonna try out. Um, paper towel, just basic stuff, you know what I mean? Like y'all already saw that. Um, but let me tell y'all, y'all, that car accident had me so scared, guys. When I turned on the camera, it had just happened. Just happened. 
I went into the restaurant, I placed my order. The lady's like, oh, you have to have cash. I said, okay, fine. I looked for a Chase nearby <clears throat> and I was gonna drive to Chase. Soon as I got in the car, closed the door. All I heard was boom, like a huge boom. I look in my rear view mirror and I see T-bone, literally, just T-bone. And I was so scared because how loud it was, I showed y'all. Just was literally, like I said, two cars behind me. So anyway, that really had my nerves shot and I just kept like praying because as soon as I finished recording that part, <clears throat> There was a lady that I guess was like a standby, you know, lady that saw the accident. She's like, oh my God, is the baby okay? Is the baby okay? And I'm just like, oh my God, there was a baby in the car. And so there was people in the back seat, there was people in the front seat. And it was mainly the people that got T-boned, right? So the people going straight, it was these people that got messed up because obviously this car, you know. So I was just like kind of like emotional a little bit because I'm like, oh my God, there was a baby in there. Here I am driving off, trying to go to an ATM and there was already a lot of people crowded around the car. So I'm like, they'll be cool. And as soon as I was driving away, the ambulance and the fire truck was already like driving up. So super fast. When I got back, their cars was out in the middle of the road. They were still standing off on the side. Um, some of the people, I, I pray everything uh, went well. But that was just so emotionally like, I'm telling y'all, I don't know. This day had gotten a little weary and the the way I grew up is when shit hits the fan and shit keep happening. They say you need to just like disconnect yourself from the world and you need to just go into your house and just like pray on it and just sit still. Because I feel like when too much is happening around you, you just, you don't want to become a part of that energy, right? Or like that, that kind of environment and bad luck that's happening so yeah i pray that family was okay but other than that i just finished unloading everything y'all i gotta clean up so daggone bad i'm gonna go to the grocery store tomorrow i gotta make a list because like i can't go into trader joe's and just be throwing anything in the cart like that just cannot happen um so i don't know i may show y'all what i get if there's new items or if there isn't i'm not quite sure um, but either way, I'll obviously come and close out the vlog and all this stuff. But, uh, yeah, mom about to take it down. I am so tired, y'all. And my sinuses is killing me. I need to take it down. So, I will check y'all later. Poof.